Hola amiguitos, les quiero enseñar una nueva canción que podamos cantar todos nosotros y va así. ¿Listos? Uno, dos, tres. Mis ojos puestos en ti, Jesús, camino recto te sigo a ti. Mis ojos puestos en ti, Jesús, camino recto te sigo a ti. ¡Yay! Aprendas en esta canción. Esta canción nos va a seguir en las próximas lecciones porque de eso vamos a hablar, de mirarle al Señor y confiar en Él. Have you ever been afraid of something? ¿Alguna vez has tenido miedo de algo? Pregúntale a la persona que está al lado si alguna vez ha tenido miedo. ¡Yes! Yo también he tenido miedo. Tengo miedo a las spiders. ¡Ah! Or to heights. ¡Ah! Or sometimes when it gets really, really dark. ¡Ah! I get really, really scared. Y tú y yo a veces tenemos miedo. And it's okay if we have sometimes be scared. Está bien que a veces tengamos miedo. Pero ¿qué hacemos con ese miedo? Pues la Biblia nos dice que tenemos que dárselo al Señor y Él va a hacer que toda esa ansiedad, esas preocupaciones, ese miedo se vaya y venga la paz de Dios en el momento que lo necesitamos. Así es que quiero que pongan atención a esta historia pequeñita para que ustedes vean a unos hombres que tenían mucho miedo, pero cuando vieron a Jesús y le dieron sus miedos, Dios los salvó. ¿Ready? Look at this. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. <sighs> and as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly, the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Did you see that story? Los discípulos tuvieron miedo de ese storm that was huge. They were so scared. But instead of just crying and hiding, they went to Jesus. And what did Jesus do? Yes! He calmed the storm and then they had peace. Y les preguntó Jesús algo. ¿Dónde está su fe? It's the same question that we ask you today. Where is your faith? Is it in Jesus Christ? Because if your faith is in Jesus Christ and if your trust is in Jesus Christ, doesn't matter what happens, you're always going to be saved. So let me show you a little experiment. Sometimes, think about us as being this beautiful, clear glass. Sometimes we go through life and we're so beautiful and shiny and clear. But things happen and make us scared, like those spiders or the darkness or sometimes like maybe scared that somebody's going to leave us or be alone or things like that. And we tend to have all these fears and we're like, what do we do? Oh my gosh. But guess what? There is a solution. What if God tells you, I know that you think this cup because what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this cup over on my head and I'm not going to get wet. Now, does that make me scared that this glass of water is going to flip on top of my head? Yes, I'm super, super, super scared. <gasps> but what do I 
do, I have to give God my fears, mis preocupaciones, my worries, and I have to trust him. And God says, Andrea, everything's going to be okay. I will guard you. When the cup goes over, you will be fine. <laughs> Are you ready, friends? If I get wet, this will be an epic video. Okay. So God said, I hope I don't get wet. I hope I don't get wet. <laughs> I'm really scared, guys. Look at this. Look at this. <gasps> yes. When I have God, when I have Jesus, I can trust him, even in the most dangerous things. He looks out for me. He has my back. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I was so scared. But when I put it to trust and I trusted in Jesus because he knows everything and he's going to take care of me, I was at peace. So, friends, when you are scared, when you go through life and tienes preocupaciones or worries, métete a tu aposento, llórele al Señor y entrégaselos a Él and He will take care of you. Y no te va a pasar nada. You're not going to get wet like I didn't. So, please, kids. Go to Jesus, pray to Jesus, and your fears will be resolved. En la Biblia nos habla acerca de qué hacer cuando tenemos miedo. Y este es un versículo que quisiera que ustedes en el aposento familiar se aprendan. Y dice así, ¿ready? Salmos 56, del 3 al 4, dice, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God I trust. I shall not be afraid what can flesh do to me. Can you imagine when we have fear, we can trust him. This is an experiment that you can do at home. You just need una bolsita clear like this one, a Ziploc bag, and you're going to fill it up with water. And you can say, if you're going to tell your friends about it or your parents, you can share this in el aposento con tu familia and kind of tell them the same thing. Like, this could be fears that we have or problems that we have in life that we're worried. And what do we do when we are afraid? We have to trust Jesus. But look at this. Look at this. What if I tell you that I am going to poke these pencils through and water is not going to fall? Would you trust me? Would you trust Jesus if Jesus will say that everything will be okay for those who are his children? Well, yes, we can trust and put all our fears and give them to God. So when things happen like this, you're going to put a sharp pencil through the hole. Ready? <gasps> Look at this. No water has gone. Maybe what if we add another pencil? <gasps> oh, my goodness. You have two. Maybe a third one. Maybe that will make it pop. Look at this, friends. We have one more. This is a really cool experiment to do at home, to show how much we trust Jesus. And we can put all our fears to him. And even if this is on top of me, I'm not going to get wet because my fear and my trust are all put to him. Try this experiment at home. Do it with your friends so that they can also trust Jesus when they're afraid. And remember, anytime that you're afraid, the oh Señor Jesús, invoca su nombre y métete con él y dale todos sus problemas. And he will bring you peace. See you later.